Greetings guys and welcome to another episode about R programming. Today I'm going to teach you how to deal uh, with Word documents. There is a great library for that. Uh, that is a library officer. So what this uh, library actually does, this uh, library actually allows you uh, to uh, create your uh, Word documents, to create reports, uh, to uh, change them, to deal with them any way you like. Uh, so, in order to uh, use this library, first we are going to install it. How we are going to do that? And if we run this code, I already uh, have this library installed, so this is going to be a fast process. and we don't need uh, this statement anymore we are just going to load this library into our session so first thing that you would have to do is to create an empty document how to do that with function read docx so what is the easiest way to put some text into your Word document? Let me show you. With function body add pair. Pair stands for paragraph. So how we are going to do this? First, we are going to provide document. Second, we are going to provide value. And as third argument, we are going to provide style. And if you type some random string into uh, this uh, argument value, and if you run this code, you see R is going to provide us with a list uh, of uh, all of uh, styles uh, it supports. So for now, uh, we are going to use uh, this style normal. And how to create this uh, document with function print? You see, function print have uh, uh, multiple uses. You could actually use it to print some uh, string to the screen, but you could also use this same function to create files. So for now, we are going to use it for this second purpose. And we are going to provide document as first argument as a second argument we are going to uh, provide address of our file and if we run this code you see everything went well and I'm going to open our directory and to show you this file and if we run it you see we have our hello world on the screen so, uh, how to deal with these other styles? And can you create multiple paragraphs in this way? Of course you can. Let's say that we want to create title. We are going to uh, set style uh, to heading one. And we are going to provide value of title. And if we run this code, First, I would have to close this document and now to open it again. And you see, we have two styles used. But uh, you see, with uh, function uh, body add pair, you cannot do a lot of stylings, you see. It's a simple function and works in a simple way. And now we are going to deal with paragraphs in more complex way. I'm going to make some spacing here and I'm going to create block. With function block list. Block list is going to contain a multiple elements. So here you could uh, have like uh, text, uh, plots, uh, images, uh, hyperlinks, whatever you like. And uh, for this episode, we are going to uh, deal only with text. And how to append the element to our block? 
with the function f pair. f pair stands for paragraph. So in this way, you could append paragraphs only. And uh, paragraph, of course, could contain text. And we are going to uh, use for that function f text. You see? And the uh, first argument for uh, this uh, function, it's actual text. I'm going to stop for now. First, I would like to show you how this looks like when you put it to the screen. In order to do that, we have to append this block to our document. How to do that? With function body add blocks and first argument is going to be document, of course, and second argument is going to be block. And if we run this code, everything went well. I'm going to open this document for you to see. You see, we have our paragraph. But let's say that now we would like to put some styling on it. How to do that? First thing that you should know about styling is uh, that there are two kinds of stylings. Uh, there is uh, styling uh, for uh, text and there is uh, styling for paragraph. Uh, so uh, with styling uh, for text, you could uh, provide uh, that kind of styling to every F text function. But with styling for paragraphs, you could provide that styling only to this function, f pair. You cannot provide styling for paragraph to f text function. You see, for now we are going to deal uh, with styling for text. And how to provide styling for this text with function fp text and uh, within this function we are going to provide arguments for styling. So we are going to make font a little bit bigger. And now I would like to change color. You could change color in two ways. You could type blue, black, red. Or you could actually uh, use this uh, hash sign and to provide hexadecimal value. We are going to create some custom color like this. And let's say I would like my text to be bold. And if we run our code, let me show you the result. Well, you see, we have a problem and problem it's actually line spacing. And now we would have to deal with uh, styling for paragraph. How to do that? So, as I said, we cannot put paragraph styling within f text function. That styling have to be within f pair function. So, we are going to uh, put comma in here. And here we are going to provide optional argument. Line spacing equals to two. What this means? Means that the height of our uh, line is going to be double. And if we run this code right now, first I have to close this document and now I'm going to open it again. You see, everything looks much, much better. And let's say that we would like to set uh, this uh, text uh, in the center of this line. How to do that? Let me show you. So that is an argument for our paragraph. And we're going to run this code now. And let me show you the result. And 
and everything looks just fine. So we are going to close this. And final subject uh, for uh, this episode, uh, it's uh, actually uh, how to use uh, two stylings uh, for one single paragraph. Let's say that you would like a piece of text in your paragraph to be uh, bold and another piece of text uh, to be italic. Is that possible? Yes, it is. How to do that? Let me show you. So we are going to copy this piece of code and uh, I'm going to change value something like this we are going to change uh, size of text to 14 color to something else And we are going to set italic to true. And if we run our code now, you see that everything is fine. Let me show you what document contains. And yes, everything looks excellent. So there is only one thing that I would like to show you now. I have created this uh, office formatting TXT for you. And here I have uh, put all of these options uh, that you could uh, use in order to style your document much better. So here you are going to see all of uh, these uh, text properties. And down here you could find every single paragraph property you would like to deal with. So you could actually play around a little bit with uh, these uh, stylings and in no time you are going to be master of this craft. So this would be all for this episode. If you like this content, please uh, subscribe and see ya!